This is James Hyde of Bright TV in association with Matt Pizzi and Marbella. With me I've got former super middleweight world champion Steve Collins. Just witnessed a press conference. What, what did you make of that, Steve? Um, well, you know, both guys have... Uh, once they come head to head, both guys have you know have come together physically in the same room. Um, they've sensed each other's uh, presence, and and, and um, you know this is it. You know it's all it's all about getting ready for the fight. Uh, they're very similar. They both want it. They both have. There's no love there, really. <laughs> they both want to uh, beat the other guy, and neither of them wants to walk away with a defeat. So they're going to they're going to be both very determined. They're both very confident, and they both believe they have what it takes to to beat. Uh, their opponents or you know each other. What did you make of Chris Eubank Jr.'s comments that Spike was probably more timid than he's been on the internet, calling him a, a Twitter terrorist and that alike? Well, Spike did go a bit crazy on the internet and the Facebook, but it was a means to an end. You know, there was method in his madness. He uh, he done it to make this fight. The fight's made now. He's not interested in Twitter. He's not interested in, in Facebook. That, that that part of the fight is over. The, this fight's going to happen now. It's, it's going to be in the ring, and it doesn't matter how many times you win on Twitter, twat or Facebook. It's not going to it's not going to help you uh, uh, on the 12th of December. That's right. Was you a little bit disappointed that Chris Eubank Senior, aka English, wasn't here today? Because I don't know about anyone else, but I was looking forward to a little bit of interaction between yourself and him. I thought it would have added to the day. And what were your thoughts on that? We're not we're not going away. You'll see more of us and um, he got a great opportunity to um, go into the jungle get himself great exposure it's going to give the whole fight exposure because people will be discussing with him about his son's preparation for this title fight it's going to make the fight even bigger and uh, it's a good payday for him um, I may pop in and visit him over there if, 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 uh, if, if I'm free and, and, and they want me the best thing in the world can you like, imagine his face if I'd, like to, sw I'd like to swing in on a, on a rope like Tarzan will you be and, uh, ringing up to keep keep feeding him bugs and that like when, uh, when the old trials come on so to speak I don't know <laughs> Funny. Spike obviously looks in fantastic shape, mentally and physically. The Celtic Warriors, he's got a good spar in there. The likes of Luke Keeler, the likes of Steve Ormond. Um, he's got, he's got, you know, in his gym, he's got great sparring. He's, um, he's going to bring in, you know, other opponents to help him. So preparation is never a problem for us. We, you know, we prepare for it in every uh, department. You know, physically, mentally. Um, you know, we go through the diet, everything we prepare. So he will be prepared for the fight. And on the night, it's, it's the man who wants it. The most and has the best game plan and sticks to it is the one that's going to win. I know styles make fights, but people will look at the way Spike fought against Billy Joe Saunders as to the way Junior fought about uh, against Billy Joe Saunders and make comparisons. Do you look at that and is there anything you take away from that statement? Well, they, they both fought Billy Joe Saunders and um, Billy Joe was a clever fighter and won on both occasions. Um, these guys have learned from their mistakes and have come out wiser, stronger fighters. The two guys you're going to see fight each other are going to be better than the two guys that fought Billy Joe Saunders because they're more mature more experienced professionals since that um, belt. Spike hits Chris Eubank Jr. Do you think he can knock him out? Do you think he's got the power both, to let him Both go? guys have got the power to knock each other out. Both guys have got the chin and durability to take each other's shots. You know, don't kid yourself. They can both, they can both hit. Do you see it as that kind of fight or do you think it will go 12 rounds? I can't You're see I don't see either guy dancing. But then again, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not preparing <laughs> for the fights, but I don't see either guy dancing around the ring. I think, I think this fight could take place in, in a small ring, you know? I think there could be a lot more ringside seats because the ring could be smaller than, than uh, other rings in the past because they won't need a big, big ring for this fight. Yeah. All right, well, listen, on that note, it's a great fight, December 12th. Touch yeah. papers lit a little bit. It's Hope we get a bit more excitement in the build-up beforehand and stuff. It'll be great. Great for boxing. I think the guys will say a lot more about each other when they're not in each other's presence. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a great fight and I'm yeah, looking forward to it. Thank, thank you. Thank you for talking to our team. Great gentleman, sir. We'll catch you Thank again you. real soon. Thank you, mate. All the best.